Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Antennas Direct DBAE. It's a high gain UHF antenna with a very unique design that allows you to point each of the two bays in different directions. Is this the best solution for areas between two markets? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the cord cutting community and I'm constantly posting new videos on reception tips, antenna reviews, and updates on ATSC 3.0, the new over-the-air TV standard that's launching in the United States. So back to this antenna, the Antennas Direct DBAE. The design looks pretty good with a set of two four-bay antennas combined. The bow tie design performs great for UHF, but not so much for VHF. What's the difference between UHF and VHF? VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 and typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36 and are better picked up with smaller antenna elements. It's also important to understand that most TV stations don't broadcast on a channel number you know them as, or even the channel number that shows up on your TV screen. For example, in Philadelphia, there's an NBC10. The average person would think they broadcast on channel 10, but they actually broadcast on UHF channel 28. The same can be said for most TV stations across the United States. The current digital TV standard and ATSC 3.0 allows them to broadcast on a different RF channel than what is shown on your TV set. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and click that little check mark that says the antenna will be installed 30 feet above ground level, even if it's not, and it will provide you a list of stations you can likely pick up at your location. Look at the RF channel on each station. That's the channel the stations are broadcasting on. So, for example, WBRE 28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. If you see little to no channels listed on antennaweb.org, don't freak out and assume you won't get good reception with an antenna. The website tends to underestimate how many channels a person can receive with an antenna. Like for me, it says I'll get 10 channels, but I actually get 50. You can also use the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbitears.info. I attach links to both in the description of my video. While the antenna's direct DBAE is marketed as a high gain UHF antenna, one of the other selling points is the fact that you can point each bay in a different direction. This may be the perfect solution for people who have scattered transmitters in different directions or live directly between two TV markets. The only downside is that the antenna is a UHF antenna, meaning you may need a second antenna for VHF. Most markets have at least one TV station on the VHF band affiliated with ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, or PBS. Antennas Direct does sell a snap-on VHF kit for areas where the VHF signals aren't too weak, but for rural areas, you may need a second antenna. So how well does this antenna work? After all, it claims an impressive gain of 17.4 dBi on UHF. As most of you know, it's a new era in antenna testing on my YouTube channel. I've moved to a new location and will be testing out new TV stations at 30 feet above the ground. I'm also using the Televis H30 to show very technical data for those of you who are tech-minded. That data is attached in a separate video in the description. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of my affiliate links in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. First, I'm going to test out the DBAE with both bays pointed in the same direction and then show how it works later with the bays pointed in different directions. Here are the first set of channels I'll be testing out with both bays pointed south towards Philadelphia. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. The signal on CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was about the same on this antenna compared to the Televis long range mix 
and a bit higher than the five-star antenna. The signal on NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was a tiny bit lower compared to Televis long-range mix, but much higher than the five-star Yagi. The signal on WPHL 17, which actually does broadcast on UHF channel 17, was a tiny bit lower on this antenna compared to Televis antenna, but still higher than the five-star Yagi. Gotta love consistency. The signal on Fox 29, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was about the same on this antenna compared to Televis long-range mix, and higher than the five-star Yagi. As I expected, this antenna was not able to pick up WHYY on VHF channel 13, likely because it does not have any VHF elements. When I rotate one of the bays towards the one station I can pick up to the east, a low-powered NJTV repeater, I was able to pick it up, but very marginally. The signal levels on most of the Philadelphia channels also became weaker due to multipath interference, showing signs of breakup. The multipath effect from pointing the two bays in different directions can clearly be seen on the spectrum analyzer of the Televis H30. For those of you not aware, multipath interference happens when a TV tuner picks up two out of sync signals from an antenna at the same time, or in this case, two antennas point in different directions. Now, don't let the multipath thing scare you away from this antenna. Not all areas will have this issue. Back when I lived at my old house, I was able to successfully receive all of the UHF channels in my area, even with the bays point in different directions. As a UHF antenna alone, the DBAE did a decent job. Didn't quite perform as well as the Televis Long Range Mix, but pretty damn close. If you want to attempt to pick up TV stations from different directions or if you're between two markets, and you don't want to use a rotator, this antenna is your best shot at it. However, understand that you might end up with multipath interference if the signals from different directions are too weak, which will lower the reliability of all channels. I would not recommend trying to get TV stations from different markets with this antenna if you live in a heavily wooded area. The multipath effect from the two bays pointing in different directions combined with the trees probably would not work out well. Those of you in this situation should purchase a very high gain directional antenna with a rotator or opt for a two antenna setup. I do offer a setup guidance service on my website at antennamanpa.com where I can guide you on how to correctly combine two antennas point towards different directions without getting the multipath interference issue you would using a two-way splitter in reverse. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of my affiliate links in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. Make sure to also have something for the VHF band if VHF is in your market, which chances are it is. If you're in a fair to strong signal area, you can probably get away with the antenna's direct VHF kit. However, if you are in a very rural area with weak signals, you will probably need a second antenna for VHF. I'd highly recommend the Stellar Labs Deep Fringe VHF antenna and combiner. I attach a link to both in the description of this video. Whether you decide to purchase this antenna or another outdoor model, Make sure it's properly grounded if outside to prevent static buildup, which can attract a lightning strike. I attach a video on how to properly ground an antenna in the description of this video. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to help support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting antenna related videos and have an awesome day.